I like cats because they are independent. Uh, they do their own thing. You, you can train them to do certain things, but I like the fact that uh, they're their own person. If you pat a dog on the head, he doesn't care who you are. He's going to love you forever. But with a cat, you really have to earn the love and the trust and the respect. The Cotton States Cat Club is the second oldest club in the United States, producing consecutive annual shows. This year's our 70th anniversary show. We are probably the third largest show in the entire United States. We generally have between three and 400 cats coming in from all over the United States. And the competition is incredible. You have kitten competition, you have championship competition, and premiership competition. Those are our neutered cats. In the background, you've got feline agility going on. You have costume contests. You have golden oldie presentations. So there's quite a bit of entertainment during our show. Your average cat show person is your mom and pop that do this because it's a passion and a hobby and they love their babies <laughs> and like a chance to show them off and they are just trying to get a rosette and have fun with people that are also addicted. When a judge is looking at a cat, the judge is judging this cat by a standard. Each breed has its own standard. And it, and a cat show is basically a beauty contest. That's why they should be showy. Our Persians, which is the most popular breed in our association, has to be a short cobby cat. It has to have a very round head, big round eyes, and they look like a round, round animal with a lot of hair. Siamese, on the other hand, you want a cat that is exceptionally long and a long forehead with navy blue eyes. This is a little girl, again, a British blue, if you will. We want a cat that is easy to handle. We want a cat that's alert, playful. The cat personality is very, very independent for the most part. Each breed has its own characteristics, and each one is individual, even within the breed. Even if you don't know the standards for the particular breed, you can always tell a really good cat. There is something about the presence. They always have that little extra something. But you have a greasy chin today. There's a great deal of preparation in getting a show cat ready. Be brave now. It's a labor of love. It involves a lot of time, energy, and effort. A lot of that includes the diet, but it absolutely yeah. includes a weekly bath and blow dry of your cat. And we, for that, we use the finest human products we can, we can find. We have to have degreasing shampoos. We have to have... Um, volumizing shampoos, clarifying shampoos, texturizing shampoos. And then after that, we have finishing rinses and sprays. Let's get her dry. The weekly bath is going to be at least a two hour process for the Persian cat. They're normally in the bath for about an hour, and they are certainly in the blow dryer for at least an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> We're continuing today uh, with a costume contest with uh, mostly reluctant participants, from what I can tell. <laughs> we have cat costume contests every so often. My Burmese cat I'm showing is actually going to be wearing a hot dog costume. Replete with mustard, a little bit of relish on the side, nice buns. <laughs> there will be cats wearing everything. The cat that won last year was wearing a Christmas tree. You're not happy about this, are you? <laughs>
This is Crush the Flapper. <laughs> Donatella the Geisha Girl. Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Feline Agility is a new uh, event for the Cat Fanciers Association. It's a few years old now, and it's a series of steps, tunnels, and jumps that the cat is asked to go through in a timed event. The way you train a cat is just like you train a dog. I use the clicker training technique, which is to use a clicker, and you use the treat reward for motivation and use the click to tell them what activity they did that got them the reward. A lot of cats, there's just no way they're ever gonna be interested, though. <laughs> People ask me, when you show a cat, do you make a lot of money? And the answer is definitely not. If you get best cat, you might get, you know, a bowl or, or a piece of silver, but you just do it because you love the animals and because you're crazy. I think with cat shows, there is that adrenaline rush that you have with any kind of competition. <laughs> It's a healthy competition, but we all love these cats. We love our cats. We think they're the most beautiful one. When you see your cat on the judging table and there are 15 other cats in the ring, you really want to get that blue or brown ribbon. So it, it's, quite, it's quite a rush because you're, you're proud of your own cat. You don't always win, but you, you can comfort yourself in, in saying sometimes, we're lucky that we can afford to do this and get our butts kicked. 